I try to uh, I try to spread a little positivity. It's gotta balance out my my fucking my bullshit, you know. Mm. Cause I post a lot of bullshit too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my way of balancing it out. Mm. Spending spending some uh, positivity out there. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Do you re do you like reshare it from a Bible Instagram? Yeah, yeah. No, so I have an app on my phone. Mm. It's just like uh, the daily daily verse. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes I can relate to it, and sometimes I'm just like, what are they talking about today? You know, I, I have no idea what they're trying to say to me. But um, yeah, if it's cool, I'll share it. If I can relate to it, I share it. Cause I know other people can feel it too. So yeah, Aww. yeah. That's so nice. You're such a good boy, but not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than I was before. Yeah, that's true. I've yeah. heard some stories. Hey, um, <laughs> like I said, we're up, we're up north now, and I, I got warrants up north for <laughs> Boston. So I'm not. This gonna, isn't Williamson County, though. It's Travis. This still. is Dallas. <laughs> yeah, past, anything past downtown, as far as I'm concerned, is Dallas. Like we got a little bit of Waco in there, but uh, <laughs> down south forever. Uh, yeah. I've only been to Dallas once and not even real dallas though what is what is fake that well like kind of outside i guess but i only went there for spa castle have i told you about this the, the spa castle it's a korean spa is it a castle <laughs> <laughs> what is it no <laughs> why would they call that spa castle? i don't know well okay so like it has like 20 rooms of different type of spa treatment like anything from like sounds to like temperature like what? like saunas they have like light therapy and they have baths which is divided by uh men and women because you have to go in there butt naked i think you did tell me yes about that. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how i feel about that because they probably have cameras in there and shit no <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. You know how to get down at those. Uh, but well, yeah, yeah. Of course, you're gonna have. You seen Rush Hour too, right? You seen the massage parlor that Chris Tucker went into? Yeah. Had all the girls in yeah. the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, that, I just imagine that all the massage parties are like that. Well, this one's more of like you pay like fifty bucks, and then you get twenty four hours of access. Like you, you could leave and come back. That's mm -hmm. that's weird. I know. That's like a what a fucking all day pass if you have to Yeah. Or some shit, like, <laughs> bounce and come back later, get another massage. Dude, and then when you go into the to the um, facility, they give you a locker and a shirt and pair of short or shorts and like these footies. So everyone looks the same. So it looks like you're in a cult. Or a fucking mental hospital. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with, with, with booties? I call them booties. What are you doing with booties? <laughs> Nah, you see Dallas? No, nope. <laughs> that's what you went to Dallas for, just yeah, for that? Nah. just for the castle, spa no, castle. No, no. I went to um, last time I went to Dallas. I want to say it was last year. Um, oh, well, I mean, I went uh, for the Texas OU game, but I mean, oh. um, the last time I like actually went to chill and stay in Dallas was like a year ago, mm -hmm. and it's okay. I just for some reason I don't I don't vibe with it well. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. know. I always isn't it like the bougier side of Texas? I uh, I don't know. I guess I think of isn't there a soap opera named Dal called Dallas? Back uh, it's, in the it's day? an old school TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but no, nah, I don't think that has anything. That's some old western <laughs> shit. They wear cowboy hats and they got shoot 'em ups and that shit. Nah, that's not the same Dallas no oh. more. But um, I don't know for whatever reason, I just never really like like the vibe over there. Mm -hmm. So and it's not like away. artsy, is it? I mean, they do have artsy yeah, parts. Yeah, but not like, like Austin. No, no, no. Dallas has, like, pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. It's just super spread out because Dallas is fucking huge. It's a metroplex. Mm. Um, so it's, like, it's difficult getting around to different shit. There's, like, very few central areas where there's just, like, a bunch of things going mm. on besides downtown mm -hmm. and, like, the deep Ellum area. Like, mm. But, yeah. Hmm. Don't don't go. You're good. Stay, yeah. down, stay down south. And then there's also the... Um, uh, I think it's in Fort Worth, the stockyards. Stockyards? Isn't that a thing? What are you talking about? Like some, some rodeo shit? Yeah, oh, no, the stockyards. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought oh, you no. would know. What? Because you're a native Texan. Hey, I'm a native Texan, but I don't get down like that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fucking Walker, Texas right there. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm, uh, I'm from Austin, but yeah. Austin is the city. And shout out to Bastrop, Texas, too, because, uh, yeah, spent a lot of time there. What is that? A bee? A bee? I don't no. 
<laughs> this, how, this how you do the bass strap sign right here. Just, just like that. Really? Yeah. yeah it's like Are you that. fucking with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, bass straps country as fuck, man. I know. You told don't, me that. Don't ever go there. Promise me you'll never go there. I've only... Don't you kind of drive through it when you go to Houston? Yeah. By the, Elgin area? Uh, It's not really by Elgin, but on your way to Houston, yeah, you do drive through Bass oh. Trap. Maybe because I see the signs. Yeah, you see a sign for Elgin, but oh. Elgin is pretty far mm. from Bass Trap. But um, don't ever stop there. If you have gas, or if you if you need gas, just keep going. <laughs> um, you'll find another station. <laughs> just don't. Trust me. Why don't you like it? Um, Other than, like, the conveniences and the nightlife and... Well, at, at the time that I moved there, like, I was I was a kid, and growing up in Austin, moving to Bastrop is, like, the complete opposite. The complete opposite, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. from the city to there ain't shit out here. Mm-hmm. So my attitude was already negative when I got there. And then when I got there, that's when I first experienced racism, so it's just like... Oh, yeah. Nah, it was a, it was a fucked up place. And you go outside and it smells like cow shit. And there's like <laughs> dead cats in your yard from who knows what, like buzzards around them and shit. It's just not, it was not a good uh good And didn't place. you say that uh, your high school, like when you played football, you would hear pigs squealing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to everybody that I played ball with. Uh, we went to Round Rock McNeil. Um, their, their football field was right next to a slaughterhouse. So while we were on the sidelines, you know, we got coaches yelling at us, we got mm-hmm. fans yelling at us, but off in the distance, you can hear the fucking pigs, wah, 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 you know, all that shit. And it's just like, how can you concentrate on the game when you hear yeah. somebody like literally dying over here next mm. to you? They did it to, to fuck with us mentally. Really? Nah, I don't oh. So. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know. It worked because uh, I'm how pretty off- sure we got our asses whooped. Yeah. How often did you hear them though? Uh, enough. I mean, once is enough. Shit, you don't like. Yeah, that. Don't you don't see, see them, do you? No, nah, I ain't seen that. Uh, um, but yeah, that's gross. It's a it's a horrible sound to, to hear. I've that never shit. heard it before. You've heard a pig squeal? Well, yeah, but like not to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, take what you heard and just turn the volume up all the way, and then all of a sudden it stops. So, think about that. <laughs> that's sad. Yeah. Um. But overall, Bass Trap is just not a good place. Maybe if I'm, like, 65 and disabled, yeah. I'll, I'll go back to, to go live over there. <laughs> but, uh, nah. is, wait, so isn't it where, like, the Walmart and all that is on uh, 290? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And okay. if you go, if you were to stop anywhere in Bass Trap, make it the Walmart. And pull out your phone because you can see some shit. <laughs> it's equivalent to the circus. You're going to see all kind of acts. There's, there's fucking three <laughs> rings in that bitch. They got it all. Trust me. Like they give you a program at the door. <laughs> right. They charge, hey, late at night they charge you missing because you can see shit in there that you can't see anywhere else in the world. I promise you, man. Like, they got they ride tractors inside the store over there. Mm-mm. All kind of shit. <laughs> got people in the corner doing jumping jacks and for no reason. Oh. They growing corn in the back. <laughs> it's a, it's Is drugs bad in Bash Shop? Um, somewhat. I think uh, there is a portion of Bass Shop that has like crack problems and mm. meth problems. Yeah. Um, that's more like deep, deep in the country, like Rockney type shit, like Cedar Creek type stuff, but it's definitely out there. Yeah. Um, I have good friends of mine uh, that I went to high school with that ended up, you know, being addicted to drugs. So mm-hmm. Bass Shop's really not the best place. Yeah. For anybody. Yeah. So when yeah. did you move to Austin? I mean, I know you were from Austin, so you moved to Bash Shop and then you right. moved back. Um, but you were in San so, Antonio. Yeah, so after um, Bash Shop, I moved to San Antonio. And the only ticket I had to get out of Bash Shop was either go to school or go to the Army. Mm. I was not going to the Army. Fuck the military. Mm-hmm. I'm not about that life. Um, so my, other, uh, my only other option was school. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know what I wanted to study. I didn't know what school I wanted to go to. I just know I wanted to get the fuck out of there. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I got accepted by UTSA, and that was it. The rest was history. I got the mm. hell up out of there. Nice. What did you go to school for? Um, initially, I went uh, for music, and um, my problem with that was, well, my problem already was I was 17 years old, and mm-hmm. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I just wanted to get out of my mom's house. Yeah. So when I went to um, went to college, I wasn't thinking. I just wanted to party. Like mm-hmm. I wanted to do what I saw the college people did on TV. They fucking partied. Like, that's what I wanted to do, so... Um, when I went, 
I majored in music. And uh, once I like finally learned how to produce music, that's all that I did. Wow. I didn't go to no other classes because for what? Like this is what I came to school for, to learn how mm -hmm. to do music. I learned how to do it, so fucking everything else. And that's a terrible mentality to have because these classes are kind of expensive, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, but that's what I did, and I stayed in the dorm, locked in on the computer, just making beats all day. Really? Until I got... I didn't know this. Yeah, you until I got kicked me. out. Kicked out of the dorms? Out of school. Ac ac academic probation initially because my grades were terrible. Mm. And then the only class I was passing was music. Had an A and Fs and everything yeah. else because I was not going. I was not trying. Um, but after uh, the probation period, like you have to keep your GPA at a certain level. Mm -hmm. I didn't reach that level, so I got dismissed. And uh, yeah, they kicked me out of school. Oh shit! Yeah, it was your a long process. Have whooped your ass. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they weren't. Shout happy. out to Big Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Pops. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Um, they were not happy about it for sure, but at the same time. Um, Neither one of my parents had been to a university mm -hmm. before. Um, my dad didn't graduate high school. So his expectations weren't exactly through the roof. He was just like, you know, go do your best. And uh, if it's too hard, come back home. So that's also like a reason why I was just like not giving a fuck because I was like, oh, if it's too hard, I'm yeah. just going to leave. Fuck it. You know, at least I tried. But again, that's a terrible mentality to have. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they were they were not happy about that. Eventually, you know, I got my shit back together, went back, graduated, and then um, I moved here, back here in uh, 2016. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Speaking of music. What about me? <laughs> what about it? It's time to formally introduce oh. yourself. Mm. So. Well, what's up? <laughs> my name's Rob Roberto Allen. Um, yeah. But your music name. Did you want to go with Robert Bridges? Robert Bridges. And what what made you want to do Bridges again? Uh, so Robert Bridges is like my pen name. I don't feel comfortable like having just some random ass name because I am a rapper, but at the same time, I'm really not. Like, yeah. I'm a regular ass dude with a regular ass job Like mm -hmm. that just happens to write music. Um, so I wanted to do something that's already close to my name. I don't have to do nothing out of my character. Mm -hmm. So I, should, I went with uh, Robert Bridges because growing up, my favorite rapper was Ludacris. Mm -hmm. Luda. <laughs> uh, I had the fro and everything when I was a kid, the braids, because mm -hmm. he was the shit. Ludacris was the shit. Yeah, he was. Word of mouth um, was like my favorite album growing up. I still listen to that shit today. Um, but Luda's real name is Christopher Bridges. So I stole that from him. And I am now Robert Bridges. Boo. <laughs> I know y'all wanted to hear something cool, but you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. No. Shout out to Luda. What's up, Luda? I'm coming for you. Um, but yeah, I went with that. And um, I've always wrote music, just like I told you. Like I've always been with music. Music is like uh, my way of venting, my way of releasing everything I got, um, everything that's built up. So because of that, it's, it's very private to me. Like something that I keep close to the heart. Like. I don't feel comfortable putting all those feelings out there. Yeah. But um, this year, I was just like, fuck it. Like, why not? Like, let's just throw some shit out there and see where it goes. So um, one of my closest boys, uh, Joseph, that I went to school with at UTSA, he, he's always rap. That boy can rap his ass off. What up, Flux? <laughs> um, he's a hell of a rapper. He's, out, he's a, just a great artist. And um, I always kicked it with him. He always encouraged me to rap or to, to put my rap out, like, he had read some of the shit I used to write in class, but he was like, bro, you need to, you need to rap. Like, you need to put yeah. that on the beat. And I would, but I just, like I said, I never felt comfortable putting it out. And um, yeah, this year we just, we said, fuck it. We went to work, chose some beats, got down on some beats, and uh, the music's coming. We dropped the first single um, at the end of January. Mm -hmm. It's called Against the Grain. Go listen to that. Um, the link is in my bio, Instagram.com. <laughs> Plug, plug, <laughs> slash Rob Allen 50. Uh, the link's in my bio. Go jam it. Tell me what you think. Um, but that song itself is really just about, like, doing your thing, being different, mm -hmm. because that's that's how I feel that I am, and he's the same way. Like, we don't necessarily, we kind of, of course, we fit in, but, like, we just like to be different, and we like to not go the same way everybody's going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We do our own shit. And that's pretty much what the song is. It's, like, encouraging people to 
do your own thing and yeah fuck everybody else yeah i like it because it's positive and it's very lyrical it's yeah. not so much on the i mean the music's good it, but it's not gonna make you shake your ass you're not gonna yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna hear this one in the club and you're not gonna twerk to it i i don't really make it I'm not gonna make music like that. You yeah. may you may hear one, maybe one day. You know, I'm just drunk and try to make a club song or something. But um, that's not what it's about. Uh, for me, the music is like, like I said, it's a way for me to get my feelings out there. But also, it's a way for me to uh, reach people that I wouldn't have been able to reach otherwise. Mm -hmm. Like people that I never heard or seen in my life. Like if they hear the track and they get something positive out of it, then I've done my job. Like motivate them in a way that keeps them going. Like then I've done my job. Yeah. And um. The money will come. Of course, I do it for the money, but... Are you really just doing it for the money? Not just for the money. Oh, okay. Like, not, like, like I said, I want to reach people. Yeah. I want it to touch people. Yeah. The money's going to come. Okay. Um, but, yeah, if I can just touch somebody, if somebody can hit me up, I'm like, yo, that shit was cool. Like, I yeah. felt that, and I needed that. Like, that's all I need. Yeah. That's that's what'll keep me going, and that's what'll keep the music coming out. Right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's fun stuff. And I... I remember when I first okay, so a little backstory. We actually work together. We're not gonna disclose where. What? We work we're just together? we're just gonna say <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I've never met you before in my life. Man, hold up. I just found him on the street actually. I was home. He was on Riverside. I was on, <laughs> <laughs> I was on Riverside, you know what I'm saying, uh stripping for cheeseburgers and this young woman right here uh, scooped me into the car, and, and here I am. No, I was on a scooter. What are you talking about? She was on a scooter, and I, I, I was on drugs. Um, I hopped on the scooter, and, and shit, here I am. You know what I'm saying? I went to the barber shop, got cleaned up. Shout out to Luis and Ted's. Um, yeah, I'm good now. I brushed my teeth. Shit, we're good. But, nah, what were we going to say? Uh, okay, so, yeah, we worked together. Yeah. A little backstory, and I remember... The first time that I knew that, or you told me that you did music, was like during uh, when you had to job, when you had to like shadow or something. Remember them boring ass days when you first start and who, it's like who was I shadowing? I don't remember. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what you're talking about because um, whenever we first started, they gave us those notebooks to yes, write down notes in. Yes. And the first thing I did was I wrote a rap yep. um, about the day because uh, yeah, I was telling you that I like to do music, and you were like, oh, you should write a rap. <laughs> so. That's what she sounds like. Um, <laughs> so I, I wrote a rap and I wrote about uh, triage. And um, actually, at home, I have that notebook and I still have that. Are you serious? That rap. Yeah, I just wrote about uh, triage and like the tickets that we had to yeah. do and yeah, that nonsense. It was dope. Yeah, it was and fun. Th and then when you actually rapped it to me, I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay not, not too bad, not too bad. This little this little nerd over here got some got some rhymes. Okay, okay, yeah, um, yeah, that was fun. That was a good time. Yeah. And then when did you, so when did you, I know that you said that you wanted to like inspire people, but before you weren't really that serious about putting out your music. Nah, um, I think that the fact that I'm from Austin mm -hmm. um, kind of deters me from putting stuff out there because I know so many people. And before I was kind of worried about how they would perceive the shit and like, what they would think of me, like, what is Rob doing? He's trying to be a rapper? Yeah. What are you, like, when people say that they're rapping or that they want to be a rapper, it comes, like, with a negative connotation. Right. Like, what are you going to be a rapper for? Like, yeah. it's not, it's just not, uh, I guess, uh, people don't think of it as a positive thing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I was nervous about how people would react or, you know, I was just nervous. So that's why I never put it out. But um, I told you about when I went to L.A., Mm -mm. I'll tell you about that. I mean, I knew you went to L.A., but I don't remember. Um, Me going to uh, L.A., this is also where I came up with the idea for my brand. Um, but I, I took a solo trip to L.A. last year for my birthday, and um, I really just had this feeling of, like, being liberated over there because I didn't know anybody mm -hmm. at all. And that alone helped me feel free. I felt like I could do anything without consequences because fuck it. Like, I don't know any of these people. Yeah. Fuck them. Like, I can go out in the street and start performing right now and they're just going to think, you know, I'm right. nobody. You know, yeah. I'm not going to see one of my homeboys walking by or anything. Um, I just, I really embraced that feeling. And when I came back home, I kept it with me. And so when I came back, I was just like, fuck it, we're about to put this music out. 
and I'm about to get this brand going. Like, fuck what everybody else is talking yeah. about. Keep that tunnel vision. Right. And uh, yeah. That's why That's I like about where you're going with this, because I mean, same with my art. Like, I don't yeah. really have aspirations of being. I don't even want to turn it into a business. Like, I just want to. I don't know, create some shit. I mean, you want to inspire people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's all I want from it. Like, people to feel beautiful and just like you, like connecting and actually having like someone to relate to. Yeah. So, definitely that because um, a lot of the music that's out, you know, it's cool and you can bounce to it, but you can't relate to that shit. Like, yeah. I don't have 45 bitches and <laughs> all these chains. I don't have no grill, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no paddock watch, but um, <laughs> it's cool to make music that people can feel. Yeah regular everyday people like myself you know mm -hmm. and you got that that boom bap style <laughs> say, it, say it again i was gonna say boom cat boom cat i swear you said doja boom cat, cat before boom doja boom nah, bap. you think about doja cat that's what you think. <laughs> nah. mm -hmm. so what is boom bap since since you're talking about it what is it well it's like the 90s style yeah like the simple beats it's a new york style it's uh that's literally what it is boom bap like the, the mm. beat goes boom and it goes back boom Uh, tribe like yeah. tribe called quest type shit yeah um old school new york yeah um we do songs like that after this uh initial tape that we put out um which should be out maybe in the end of may um after we put that out then we want to put out a tape that's strictly boom bap just because we both really vibe with that sound mm -hmm. we feel it so we'll put a tape out like that too nice just the boom bap <laughs> <laughs> how many songs do you guys have so far um, well, this first one is just going to be a, a quick EP. Mm. It's, it's six tracks. Um, and I think the next one, will, it'll probably be something similar, like maybe six to eight tracks. Mm -hmm. um, just something enough to where we can put some jams out there and people don't get bored at the same time because ain't nobody trying to sit there and listen to 45 songs yeah. in a row. Like, even nowadays, you know, albums are 10 to 12 songs. Mm -hmm. You know, before they used to be 19 to 20. And with the streaming age, ain't nobody trying to listen to all that shit. So. Yeah. Trying to keep it short, simple, to the point. Yeah. Um, listen to it and get on about your day. So, yeah, probably six to eight tracks. Okay. But it's coming. Do you plan on performing at all or just, like, making I mean, visuals? I would. Really? <laughs> Where could you see come, yourself uh, performing? Come, come book me. Somebody come book me, <laughs> shit. I'm ready. Um, I perform in front of my mirror every day when <laughs> I get... I'm brushing my teeth and shit. I'll be singing my lyrics, you know, uh, performing ludicrous. Don't act like you don't do it too. I know you be performing in the mirror. Of course I do. Yeah, we all do that shit. So, um, we know what's doing it on the stage or in front of some people. I'll be down for that. Yeah. But, you know, that's like, like I said, it's not my plans. I'm not trying to be a right. the fucking top of, of the Billboard charts rapper. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to be the best yeah. rapper or anything like that. But, if you know, if somebody wants to book me for a show, like, fuck it. I'll, I'll come rock the stage a little bit. Okay. Be down for that. You should. Yeah. I mean, it's Austin. It's super easy yeah. to do. I just, we just did South by and like seeing some of the people on the stage mm -hmm. just kind of motivates you like, <laughs> <laughs> if they can do this <laughs> shit, we can do this shit. Like, right. no, absolutely nobody in the crowd is feeling this man on stage. Like, I can get out there and give the people something they could feel. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I don't know. Maybe one day. Mm. Maybe we'll v revisit this in a year and see uh, see what happens. But you do want to do a music video next. Music video is definitely coming um, next. The The video will come out before the next single. The next single is called Never Stop. <laughs> Look out for that. Um, but yeah, we just haven't found a director yet that um, is within our regular everyday man budget. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's because we really have a lot of ideas. Really? Yeah. Um, for just that one song still? or like? Yeah, yeah, for that oh, cool. song have lots of ideas and I really don't want to skimp out on the shit. Like if I got to wait and save up the money yeah. to get it the way I want it, then that's what I'm going to do right. because I'm not on the schedule. Like I don't, I don't have to put it out by a certain yeah, date. Like exactly. I'm not, I'm not rushed. Um, so yeah, it's going to come for sure. And, uh, I just want it to be everything that I see in my head when I wrote mm. the song. And as long as everything comes out the way that we envision it, it's going to be fucking cool. Yeah. It's going to be fun, and y'all going to laugh at it. Because you know me, when I get in front of a camera, I'm an idiot. So, yeah. So you want it to be, like, silly? Um, I think that I'm going to dress silly, but I don't think the song is silly. Oh, if right. That, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, It is a serious message, but 
it's lighthearted at the same time. Right. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see when it gets together. You said that she wanted to wear a hat of some sort. What is it? can't be telling the people okay, everything. Okay, okay, I gotta okay, wait okay. for the video. I gotta <laughs> wait for the video. Um, yeah, I definitely had a costume in mind, a few costumes. But that's the thing. Like, we need somebody that's gonna be able to capture all of these scenes and also, like, help a brother get these costumes. Like, because I don't know where to buy this <laughs> you shit. You can like, run stuff at Lucy's. Lucy? Are you talking about in Congress? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, 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 I've done that before. Yeah. I earned it a dashiki from there. Really? When I was a schoolboy. For, it's for pretty Halloween. cheap, right? It's like only like ten bucks for a day or something. That, that, that damn that shiki wouldn't cheap. They act like they got it from the fucking motherland <laughs> themselves. Somebody in the back made that shit. And they, they were charging like twenty five dollars, and then I was like, yo, I just want it for the day. You know, I'll, I'll give you five dollars for this shit and bring it back in in top pristine condition. You know, mm-hmm. but whatever. Um, maybe I'll check that shit out. Yeah. What about um, Flux? Does he want to wear any? Uh, costumes or no? Nah, I don't think he does. Um, my boy Flex is uh, a bit more serious mm. with it because, like I said, he's been rapping for a long time. Mm. He's uh, he's really been putting in his work, and he deserves his his shine. He really does because he's just a good artist. Since I first heard this man's music, I was like, dude, you don't need to be in class. You need to be out there doing this shit for other people. Like, you can rap, bro. You got it. And um, he's very serious about it. Not that I'm not serious about mm-hmm. it. I'm just uh naturally an idiot i'm <laughs> i'm naturally fucking goofy so um if i get the opportunity to showcase my goofiness then i'm gonna i'm gonna do it and i think that's what uh makes us a cool duo because yeah. we're the yin and the yang you know what i'm saying yeah. not yeah. the yin yang twins but yeah uh yeah we're opposites and it i think it meshes well i think it'll be a nice change because i mean most rap now is just like yeah, exactly. I was gonna say you got guns in your Bitch. face, like money, boop, boop, all boop. Those. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which is cool. I'm not. I don't have a problem with that right. kind of yeah. music. But so um, you'll be a nice. That's just not who I am, though. Change. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like I can't see you like that at all. I mean, I could. I mean, if, if the money's right, I'd do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, nah, that's not who I am. That's not my character. Yeah. So that's not the kind of music I want to make. Right. Who are your? I know Ludacris is your favorite, but who else are your um, influences? Yeah, growing up, Luda was my favorite for Pimp sure. C. Um, definitely Pimp C. Um, shout out my cousin Cruz because without him, I wouldn't even know about rap music. Um, the only rap music my dad listened to growing up was uh, the Chronic. Uh, oh, really? The Chronic, a little bit of Doggy Style, uh, Snoop's first album, and um, Public Enemy. Mm. Those were the cassettes that he listened to. So. That's the only rap I knew, really. Like, everything else was Van Halen and ACDC and ZZ Top, which is cool, too. I definitely fuck with yeah. that. But um, the only time I really heard rap was when I went to my cousin's house. This dude had all the CDs that I had never heard of. Master P, Silk the Shocker. Mm-hmm. This dude had all these uh, little flip, all these albums. Um, but he's the one that introduced me to, like, UGK, um, Zero, Trey, uh, Slim Thug, you know, Chameleon Air, all the artists that... I really love shit. Those are my favorite artists, Texas artists. Nice. Um, but like as far as today's rappers, the only mainstream rapper I really fuck with is who? Who is it? <gasps> Drake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with Drake like that, man. Drake's too sensitive. It's bro. lit. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> I fuck with Trav, man. Travis Scott. Um. Because I always ride for the home team, and Trav went to UTSA, um, too. So I didn't know that. Yeah, he went to UTSA. He stayed um, in the apartment. See, I stand for this man. Like I'm, I'm writing him letters. You know, dear Mr. Travis Scott, <laughs> this is Robert, and I liked your song. Uh, in crayon. And yeah, in crayon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this dude, he went to UT, transferred to UTSA. Um, met Kanye West and dropped out of school. So it's like I'm seeing somebody that came from the same state as me. He went to the same school as me, wow. and he's doing things that I want to do. Mm-hmm. So naturally, I'm motivated by that, and I gravitated towards his music. And this dude likes to fucking rage, and yeah. I like to fucking rage too. So I mean, it's that's my guy. And uh, if you see me in public and I'm I'm acting crazy and I'm listening to Trav, 
It's my business. <laughs> my business because I'm having fun. If you see me at a concert and Travis on the stage and you're like, is that Rob? What is he doing? Did he just pick that man up and throw him? Just mind your business because I'm having fun and I'm enjoying myself and I'm releasing myself through the music. That's what he does. So that's why I fuck with him. Nice. Yeah, he puts his uh, emotions into it. I can't believe you took down that photo I sh- uh Man, I <laughs> that was beautiful. I only did it for Andrew. Why? My, my dog wasn't trying to look at that all day. Why? Did he complain about it? He was just like, what is it? He wasn't complaining, but I don't know. I just I had to clean it up a little bit. Did he know I didn't throw that? it away. I, kept, okay, I still have cool. it. I was yeah, going to say, because yeah. I... I did a really good I job. Know. It, it was fresh. It was cool. I got some compliments. People were telling me to grow out my hair and get the braids. And I was like, I've done that before. I'm not going back. It's too hot for all that shit. It itches. Um, but no, nah, it was it was a nice picture. Thank you. I still have it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I just try to keep it, you know, a little professional over there. Shit, they, uh, they might fire my ass. So, you know. Oh, stop. That's fine. <laughs> well, if you and Flux ever need photos, promo photos for like flyers and stuff. You hear that? Find plugs? someone else. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never mind, dog. <laughs> Never mind, G. You're gonna find somebody else. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Um I'm just kidding. You know. Yeah. I'd be so happy. Yeah. Um definitely like some artwork for the next single or for the album. Mm-hmm. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Reach out to you. Collaborate, you know what I'm saying? Right. Get this shit going, <laughs> talking about. Yeah. What's up with you? Me? Yeah. What have I been up to? How's life? Mm. You know how life is. I bitch it bitch about life all the time with you. You bitching about things. <laughs> that's not no, that's not you. That's not who you are. That don't sound like you. Um but not. Nah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You had a good week though. This is your weekend shit. I know. I got- Today I did a lot of walking. Mm. I walked to Bethesda. I saw, yeah, I saw that. I saw yep. that. You walked where? To my modeling. Oh, okay. Yeah. How'd that go? Really good. Because usually it's Friday evenings at 6, but this time we switched it to 12.30 during their lunchtime. Mm-hmm. So now I'm like, ah, oh, yes, it opens my evening. Because before it was like an odd time to like schedule things. Yeah. But... Oh, that's cool. It's a beautiful day get, for that. Get your steps in, shit. Yeah. yeah. And it is, used, it's nice outside, too. Yeah. I do need to exercise. But. <laughs> Nothing. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Yeah, I'm the one that needs to exercise. Oh, yeah. stop. You you guys should see how he looked when I met him compared to now. How did I look? You were a little bit chubbier. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I'm just saying you look really good now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, health is wealth. Shit. Take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. I was uh, 400 pounds. <laughs> Y'all seen that show? Um, you couldn't walk. My 600 pound life. Oh, that, shit. that was me I that had done a documentary on me. <laughs> and uh, that was embarrassing. So I had to get my shit together. Um, <laughs> I stopped eating donuts and shit. And uh, yeah, started working out, man. You could, you could totally inspire people with with that experience alone. I definitely could. Um, I think the only thing with that is like, there's kind of a fine line between like, bragging and tooting your own horn and like yeah. trying to inspire and I'm definitely not a bragging type person no, like I know. that's just not who I am I don't like attention to be honest like that's just not who I am um but yeah if you see me and you know me before and you know how big I was and <laughs> you see me now that's your motivation like I don't have to tell you like <laughs> shit if my big ass could do it yeah. anybody can do it and that should be your motivation like how yeah. early do you get up to work out uh shit <laughs> It depends, really. Um, the alarm goes off at 5.30, but there's no telling what time I get out the bed. Um, I try to get in the gym at least by 6.30, the latest. Mm. Get an hour workout in and catch the bus. And you must I'm be going. so tired when you get home at night. Look at my face. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> shit. The kids have been my keeping me God, up all night. No, I'm just fucking kidding. kids <laughs> running around. They shitting everywhere. <laughs> Diapers ain't cheap, yo. This shit is stressful. My hairline keep going back. I had to tell my barber to chill out, man. But it's all that stress, you know what I'm saying? Lack of sleep. But uh, nah, it's not that bad. Um, it's all worth it. Just trying to get better. Stay healthy. Try to live on You this. make me feel... Oh, every lunchtime when you're like eating a salad and I'm eating like shit, I'm just like... But it's it's like I, I was telling uh, Miguel yesterday, like, you've never been fat a day in your life, so you don't know how it is. Like, 
enjoy your food because that's you. Like, I've been eating fucking Twinkies and donuts for the past 20 years, so, like, now it's time for me to switch it up, you know? Yeah. got to switch it up a little bit. Got to balance it out. Um, so you deserve to eat all the, whatever the fuck you want. You can eat, you deserve it. Like, yeah, but you're, still. You're fit. Like, you're good. N- no. I could do better. You can always do better. <laughs> whatever. I mean, yeah. If, if I was skinny my whole life, I'd probably be shoveling fucking donuts <laughs> and everything that I could. Yeah, but like, but. I could still have high cholesterol and shit. Like, you still have a heart attack even though you're skinny. <laughs> <laughs> heart attacks are not funny. <laughs> They're serious things. We're not laughing. We're just, you know. Um, you no, know, that's definitely true. Uh, skinny people get diabetes too. Shit runs. Diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that shit can run in your family. You know, genetics can definitely play a factor in your health, but I just try to do everything I can, man, because diabetes does run in my family, and, mm. yeah, I'm just trying to trying to stay on this shitty earth as long as I can, man. <laughs> trying to get paid, bro, <laughs> before I get out of here, man. That's all. Oh, man. I, I got to get my mom's that house. Oh. Then I'll be good. I can die happy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah um so what uh, what other projects are you working on um right now we're just working on uh getting this first project out um after that i told you we have the boom bap tape coming oh yeah but um in between that and maybe later on in the year um i plan on just dropping my solo really tape. yeah um, something that I've always wanted to do. Would he still produce the beats though? Just you? So he doesn't. He produces now, but the beats that we've been using for this project are not done by him. Oh. He's still like mastering it and oh, getting the. Oh, have they been your beats? No, no. Oh, these, okay. We're buying these beats from other people, uh, okay. other producers that uh, we meet. But um, he's still working on it, still perfecting his craft. He's not comfortable putting his his music out there yet. But um, me with my beats. I have a couple of producers in mind that I want to mess with, and I definitely have a sound in mind mm-hmm. that I want to use. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely excited about that. Like I said, it's something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I have plenty of ideas. There's gonna be some skits on there. It's it's just me. Like yeah, you know how stupid I am, how goofy I am. Like I just want to incorporate that into some music. Yeah, I'm so excited. That'll be next. Yeah. Sometime this year. Um, I would like to drop it like September around that time. Mm-hmm. I know it's a long time. But It'll be here before you know it. Don't <laughs> say that, yo, because <laughs> September's my birthday. Oh, yeah. I'm getting old, yo. Shut up. I'm about to be 40. 40 this year. 40. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, that's what's next. Mm. And uh, find you a girl. He's single, ladies. Oh, <laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> Don't listen to this woman. Um... She's been trying to hook me up for, 45, for the past 45 years. Any woman that has a heartbeat and, and all her teeth, she, look at her. She's cute. You should talk to her. Like, man, just let me do me. Shit, let me do me. I'm trying to, I told you I'm trying to put this album out, man. Let me put my album out first. Well, once you become a famous rapper, we'll then, just start then the groupies will come. And, mm. Mm, I don't need that, though. That's a lot of stress. Shit. Really? Oh, you want to do the marriage and kids thing, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, I have to plant my seed before I bounce. Plant your seed. Plant my seed. <laughs> I gotta plant my seed before I bounce, man. I gotta have my little Rob running around. You know, I want to see that happen before I can vacate this earth. Mm. Speaking of which, not to be told, TMI. Here, here it comes. <laughs> here it comes. What you got? Cause you always give me like shit like, oh, uh, what? When's, when's little Christine coming? Or because <laughs> I'm ready to see. I'm trying to be another Godfather. <laughs> Shout out to Victoria and Kenneth. I'm trying to be another Godfather. Yeah, and I think you'd be a uh, cool mom. But I've been moody like for the last week, if you could tell. And now. So what is what are you? What well, are you saying. <laughs> no, like That's I make an like I always have to like warn you, <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh I think I'm getting my period and then I finally got my period and I was like uh, right at the cutoff like uh, <gasps> should I be freaking uh, so out? You were nervous, okay, I was nervous. okay. <laughs> Birdman hand rub, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready to see you with a child for real. I think you would be a good mom and I think it would just be something cool to see. You hear that, John? <laughs> you hear that? No. He doesn't want kids either. Oh, sh- oh. <laughs> well then. 
But well, I do want a dog. That'll come. Yeah. That'll mm-hmm. come. I want a dog too. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm just I'm not at home enough. What kind of dog do you want? Um, the one with the ears and the nose and the tail and the, and the paws and the fur. <laughs> I don't care, yo. To be honest, like. Doesn't your mom just, have chihuahuas? My mom has chihuahuas, and we we kind of grew up with chihuahuas always in the house. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't mind that. I know most people think they're annoying fucking rats, which they are, yeah. but that's what I'm comfortable with, and I don't care. Um, but really, mm. I just love dogs. Like, I don't have a specific breed that I would want to get. Um, what, are, what are those bulldogs called that have, like, the super pointy ears and, like, they're little short and fat ones. Maybe I get one of those. Are they English bulldogs or? Oh yeah, probably. Are, like are French? like the underbite. Oh, the French bulldogs maybe, that maybe look that's like Lilo and Stitch. Those ones. Lilo and Stitch. You know the cartoon Lilo and Stitch? Yeah, he was an alien. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking? He wasn't. A, he was not a dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> or maybe I haven't seen it, so I don't watch movies. Yet. <laughs> They modeled the, the alien after a French bulldog. What? <laughs> Dude, that's why I don't watch movies, man. That shit is fake, man. That's fake. They modeled him after a dog? Where are you getting you these facts? Look, you, okay, I'll show you a photo. Okay, we're going to have to fact check this. That's why my man John should be the fact checker in here. <laughs> we, can, we can look that shit up real quick. I know, right? If only I could talk to like someone. Well, I mean, never mind. I don't got my phone. Nah. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing about Rob is he doesn't watch movies For past what? past like nineteen ninety nine. For what? <laughs> <laughs> the last movie uh, that I saw in theaters, I think, was um, the Black Panther, and uh, I went because it was free. Oh yeah, with the and, um, work thing. Yeah, um, I did that. But before that, I think I saw uh, Jurassic Park, and that's the original, the ninety four edition. That's the last time I went to the movie theater. Oh my God. I'm just I'm bullshit, <laughs> but I don't know. I just I never really liked movies because it's like an investment that I got to put myself through a two hour investment, and if the movie sucks, I'm like, what the fuck did I just do with those last two hours? Like, I could have been okay. So else. like, to get an idea of what's a good movie and a bad movie, like mm-hmm. what sucks to you? Well, obviously I know you like Friday. They all suck. <laughs> <laughs> um. Like the newer what, what? movies that you've seen, which are the ones that um, you liked, Black Panther. To be honest, I really only like comedies, because if I am gonna spend two hours away from reality, but really I bad like comedy is like even worse to sit through. Yeah, but then I'll just turn this shit off. Like I'm not, mm. I'm not, I'm not gonna finish it. But um, if I have to spend like two hours watching something, I'd rather be laughing my ass off. I don't want, definitely don't want to see no sad shit. Um, action movies are okay, but they're fake as fuck. Uh, Fast and Furious movies are comedy movies to me. I seen Vin Diesel pick up a car with his bare hands. Like, <laughs> that's funny as shit. But that's why I don't watch action movies because they're fake. All that shit's fake. Like they they fire forty two bullets at the man and he didn't get one of them. Like <laughs> I'm that guy that's in the movie theater. Like that would never happen in real life. I'm that dude. <laughs> Um, so that's I just don't watch You're them. You're so lame. Yeah, I'm lame as fuck. I don't watch movies. But uh, that movie Friday, if y'all ever seen that one, that one's pretty cool. <laughs> it came out not too long ago. <laughs> a solid oh, yeah, and the only show that he watches is The Office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My boy Kenneth put me on The Office in 2010. That was nine years ago. Holy shit. And I've been watching the same show for the past nine years, and I never even finished it. I, I, I don't even finish shows either. Like You don't even finish the episode? I finished the episode, oh, okay. but I did not finish like all of mm, 35 uh-huh. seasons or whatever they have, because mm-hmm. after a certain point, I just lost interest. Like They turned it into yeah. a love story with Jim and Pam. I wasn't all about that shit. I what? Just like, that was the best part. No, the best part is laughing. At, every, at all the dumb shit yeah, they do. Yeah, but Jim and Pam's love story, I loved following them. And then when they got married and got a kid, I was like, eh, it's not exciting anymore. That's the part that I dropped. Mm. We, we're, we're good after that. And then, right, Michael's gone. And then Mike York. Mike left. Um, I I saw the episode where uh, Will Ferrell came in. I don't like movies, but Will Ferrell, if I did have a favorite actor, it'd probably be him because mm. he's dumb as fuck. And <laughs> I love laughing at him. But he became the boss. And after he left, I think that's really I didn't know he was on the show it was real quick 
And after he left, that was that was it. Mm. If he would have stayed the boss, I I probably would have finished the show. He's, I'm actually surprised that he would go on the show like that because he, I don't know. I thought uh, he would be too famous for it. You know, it's like seeing. I mean, look at Steve Carell. He's famous as fuck. No, I know, but he got famous off The Office, really. But it's like seeing seeing Jim Carrey do a sitcom. That'd be. Weird. I guess, but I guess it was because it was only for a couple episodes. Oh, okay. It's not like he was a main staple of the show. Mm. Um, so he collected his check and and bounced. Mm. But uh, yeah, I like The Office. I like Parks and Rec, which is pretty much the same shit. Mm. Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, which is also made by the same people. Is that the um, one with uh, what's his face? Who is that? From SNL. The Sandberg. Yeah. 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 yeah oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That dude's a fool, man. <laughs> um, him and Terry Crews are on that show. Um, I don't even know these stars' names. The dude from Superbad, the fucking creep from Superbad, is in there. It's it's just a funny show. I like it. Um, but that's I still haven't. Well, I probably seen like two episodes of Parks and Rec. Oh, yeah. I know it's good. Like it's the same. Like it's the same with shit. the camera zooming in and all that shit. Just take the office and put them in a Parks and Rec yeah. department. It's the, the same shit. Same characters, everything. Like. You don't watch any animation shows, that, right? Um, Family Guy reruns, mm. American Dad reruns. You gotta give Rick Sponge and Morty Bob a, ch- a chance. SpongeBob forever. <laughs> still watching SpongeBob reruns. I still from haven't me. watched a single episode of SpongeBob. I know. There's a lot of shit out of Not even watch. one episode. Um, yeah, I think because I. I was already We're old. <laughs> you know to Don't. <laughs> Come on, man. You know what? I think it, I would say maybe it would have helped if you saw it in your childhood first. Yeah. But even now you can watch it and laugh your I ass know, off. but I'm saying like it was like prevalent. It was a Nickelodeon show, right? Yeah. And I'm like 10 years older than you. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you like this. Come home and get super baked. And watch. I don't know what that is. Bake cookies. Bake some cookies when you get to the house. <laughs> make sure it smells real good in okay. here. Okay. After you bake your that cookies. That ooey gooey. Make sure that <laughs> <laughs> make sure the cookies are very sticky and very gooey. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, watch a couple of SpongeBob episodes, and you will laugh your I, ass off. I think because his laughter's like eh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Does he laugh like that? I never seen the show. <laughs> That's how he laughs. Um. No, there's so many jokes in there that are that go over kids' heads that were meant for us. So it's like a Simpsons, but kookier. No, nah, it's, it's not like the the, it's not like the Simpsons. Nah, um, really, every episode is SpongeBob who is an asshole. He's an asshole. He's an asshole. Oh, is he's because he's a nobody cares. He's he's annoying, pretty much. <laughs> oh, okay. he's just always fucking happy and like trying to just do the most. And then his. Sidekick friend, what was what a dumbass? Is a starfish. Oh, that's right. Big Pat, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. Um, so yeah, them they always fuck with Squidward, and Squidward's just trying to live his life. He's trying to do his thing at his house, be peaceful and play his clarinet. And SpongeBob and Patrick come over fucking with him mm-hmm. every day. Yeah, it's sad. He's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you should watch some SpongeBob. Okay, I watched that. Um, animation really. I do a little bit of Rick and Morty. Um, Which season? The very first one. Like, <sighs> I'm just, I'm just there. Like, it took a little bit, though. I don't know. I, I just like feel like you have season. to learn the characters yeah. and like True. know what they're True. about to do. Right. That make you appreciate it more. Um, but I don't, know, I don't think I watch any more animation. If I do, it's like old school Nickelodeon. You shit. have to watch. I don't know if I was talking to you about it, but Mike, Mike Tyson's Mysteries. <laughs> I feel like I've seen uh, it's a couple of really those, him on Adult, too. Adult Swim, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out my boy Quentin because he's he's about to work for Adult Swim. Uh, really? Yeah. Doing what? Eventually, eventually he's oh. gonna get there. Oh, okay. Because uh, he's he's very talented, and uh, that's his aspiration to get to Adult Swim. So he'll get there. Hmm. Um, but I feel like I've seen the episode. He was talking to the pigeons and shit. I don't. I don't know what Mike was doing. He took too many hits. He has an Asian daughter on the on the show. I know it's really weird. How that happen? <laughs> <laughs> they who would let Mike Tyson adopt a child? Dude, he has. Okay, so their team is his uh, Asian daughter, a pigeon, and a, a ghost. Yeah, they're a ghost. Uh, they're a mystery solving team. <laughs> Fucking mystery machine gang over here, Scooby and Shaggy. What? But you also have to watch it baking cookies. Mm. 
maybe to fully can, appreciate yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the context. Okay, I got it. And then with his lisp and everything, and the way he talks. <laughs> a little gap and shit. <laughs> now, kiss. I got you. I got you. Um, does it still come on, or is it like on Hulu, or uh, what are you watching? I don't know. I know it's, I think it's Adult Swim, but we stream, you know, we stream everything. So. They're listening. <laughs> They're watching. I don't do that type. Of, I pay for everything I got. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> pay cash on my subscriptions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't come after me, fast. They come before the due date. <laughs> no, I don't say that. Um. Oh, yeah. No, I never really got into like TV shows and shit mm. or movies. But music, though, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. I like music, too. But nowadays, because the visuals are such a big part of this, the song now, mm -hmm. like, it's a whole, it's a whole different world like now. That like that girl Solange. Huh? Like yes. that girl Solange. Fire. That album's fire. It is. I love it. Um, I know it's good because I'm a grown-ass man and I'm in my car singing. <laughs> And she's talking about when she was a little girl and shit. And I'm like, damn, I'm, this shit is hard. Like, I, I don't have a choice but to but, but to bounce to this shit. Like, damn. You have to listen um, to her older stuff, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Well, you got to give me a chance. I'm still digesting yeah. this album. I'm still rotating I that think, one. didn't I try to get you into SZA, too? Yeah, you did. And you See, didn't like it because of the big booty talking and all. <laughs> there's only one aspect of my life that I'm closed-minded with, and that's music. I'm completely open to mostly everything else, but music, like I know what I like and people will suggest some shit to me. I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll check that out. I'm not going to, but, <laughs> but I don't know. It's, it's just because I know what I like and I feel like I don't want to go anywhere else. Like I've already found everything. Like I, all these new rappers, I'm just- You're such an old man trapped in a young man's body. Yo, <laughs> I, I am going to be 47 this year. I'm telling you. I feel I feel You went so from much. 40 to 45 to 47. I got dementia. <laughs> I'm old as shit. I be forgetting shit. But I don't know. I've always felt like I was older than what I am. Yeah. Um, It started when I was younger just because I used to hang out with my cousin and his older friends. Um, But now, just as I do get older, I feel like I'm old as shit. Like, I just don't like going out. I don't like drinking. Hmm. I just, I'm an old man. Get off my fucking porch. Well, once you're actually old, like my age, you'll feel like you're a young person trapped in an old person. I'll body. probably be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I said I'm here uh, for a good time, not a long time. Shit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, Maybe by the time I'm old, my mind will shift. And by the, by the time I'm 50, I'll think that I'm like 35. But... Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Right now I'm old as shit and uh, work is killing me. My back fucking hurt. My feet hurt. Shut up. Old, yo. You don't know what I'm real work dirt. is, Mr. I really don't. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, you went Thank from God. an internship to this cakewalk job that we have. Is it a cakewalk? It is a cakewalk. Hey, <laughs> it's not that bad, huh? <laughs> no, um, I've been blessed to not really have a job where I got to bust my ass like that. Of course, we all had shitty jobs growing up. Um, oh, yeah. You worked at H-E-B. <laughs> I worked a lot of places. Um, there's some places I forgot that I used to work at. Because, like where? Um, Chippendales. <laughs> on camera, man. You can't be telling me, giving away my secrets. That's, that's back when I was real big. They used to, they used to call me, uh, never mind. <laughs> I used to just come out with the bow tie. Shout out to Didi. Um, but... Uh, no, nah. what were you gonna? What were you saying? Oh, where you used to work? You were at H E B. Everywhere, yo. I've worked at Taco Bell, right? I worked at Taco Hell, H E B, Subway, Cold Stone, the ice cream spot. Um, I worked at Chili's. I worked at uh, fucking this little Mexican restaurant. That was my first job. Wait, so how long have you stayed at one job? I don't stay very long. <laughs> right, honestly, right here where I'm at now is like the longest I have been at, at one place. Mm. That's why I'm itching so much to yeah, make moves to because yeah. I don't feel comfortable staying in one place. Well, long. where we are, there's nowhere to go anyway. There's nowhere to go, and it's very easy to get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Because it's the hood. <laughs> Yo, complacency 
is the devil because yes. once you get comfortable it's yep. just like that's where you are and you're not going anywhere I know. anywhere else so um yeah i'm not used to staying in the same place and not even just jobs just like in the same city in the same apartment like i'm used to moving every year and that came from just as a kid we used to move every year yeah even if we were in austin or even if we were in bastrop we still had a different house every year it's just how shit worked so mm -hmm. as i got older that mentality i guess stuck with me and i'm just used to but are you around. planning on ever leaving texas i don't know about leaving texas um i would definitely live in houston or um san antonio which i already have um but i don't know if i could live outside of texas the money would have to be right for sure i'd, I'd have to <laughs> they'd have to pay me to come outside of texas but um it could probably happen as long as it ain't cold you know yeah. I, don't, I don't fuck with the cold every native texan i know would never leave texas it's weird because like I'm from up north and yeah. everyone's trying to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. That shit, it, it's just comfortable, I guess, because I have traveled different places and I do see the hospitality and it's just, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. People look at you weird for trying to be friendly. Yeah. Like, bitch, I'm not trying to steal nothing from <laughs> you. I'm trying to be friendly. Yeah. Like, you know, and I'm not sure that I would just want to like raise my kids in that type of environment. Right. Like, I'd want it to be a comfortable environment that I know and that I can show them the ropes in. So. I'll probably be here forever. But like I said, if the money's right, I'm coming, <laughs> baby. I'm on my way. See, I <clears throat> excuse me. I could probably see myself living outside of the country. But see, I want to go see that first. I've been to Mexico. Yeah. Um, but I want to go overseas and check that out. That's also on the to-do list this year. Did you go back to like your family's side when, when yeah, you we went to, to Mexico? Yeah, we, we used to go to Monterrey. Um, when I was younger, Monterrey, Monterrey, <laughs> bra, bra. Bra, bra. <laughs> shout out to the Mexicanos. Um, oh, yeah, mom. uh, he's black skin, black skin. I am black skin, <laughs> shout out to all my black skins. <laughs> we run the world, baby, y'all just don't know it. Um, yeah, my mom and my grandma uh, took us down there one time, and I think my mom's mentality was like, I'm about to show these little badass kids what it's really like. Like, they yeah. think it, they got it bad, like. I'm gonna take their ass to where it's real bad and mm -hmm. show them to appreciate what they have, and um, it it worked. Fuck, yeah. like seeing life over there it was completely opposite of everything that we had seen at that age. So it definitely made me appreciate everything, but at the same time, it exposed me to a different world. Like it was a trip going to the McDonald's and everything is not in English, and like they sell different shit and just seeing different people in the country just seeing like the mountains a different landscape it's, it was a trip I loved it how I old were you it. when you went uh, I was probably like eight or nine maybe oh, okay. I, was a, I was a little wee pup I had the flat top haircut <laughs> I was wearing the Chicago Bulls shirt over there that's, okay. a, that's how that's how old it was nice that when I was a, Which player? a Bulls fan it was just a shirt oh okay <laughs> just a shirt but yeah of course you know I was all about Jordan shit every kid was yeah I know right yeah um but yeah, Mexico was fun. But I want to go to London. I'm trying to go anywhere that is not So you could use America. your accent? So I could work on my accent. <laughs> <laughs> Christine makes fun of my accent because, you know, after I have a couple of drinks, that accent might come out. I don't know what she was talking about. What you, you've never heard my accent. <laughs> it comes out every now and then. And it's, actually, it's terrible. <laughs> Quite embarrassed of it, but... Well, wh what and side the, of uh, the UK are you from? Uh, the deep end of... of, of <laughs> Of London. Okay. Uh, I've been there for the past six years. Um, not bad. The weather's spotty, but. <laughs> Did you just say spotty? Spotty. The oh, weather's spotty. Okay. You know, sometimes. Uh, and sometimes and dreary, but also a bit of sunlight. But my accent's I terrible. Say I, can yeah. I can never live there. And just be too depressed. I want to go. I want to go see you first. I, I just want to keep talking like this. Why oh, are you talking like this? Me? <laughs> Perhaps another drink. <laughs> Another shrimp on the barbie. Another, no, that's Australian. Another sip of my tea. <laughs> my tea. Bring some fucking crumpets in here and, and we can really have them fucking... Trumpets? <laughs> crumpets. <laughs> crumpets, damn it. Crumps. <laughs> Where my tea? Oh, wait, no, that's a Harlem shake. What? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Where where have you been overseas? Uh, I lived in the Philippines for a year. Mm -hmm. I told you that. Yeah, I knew that. And Thailand, and Canada, but that doesn't count. And I've been Canada, to like it does count. I've been to it's Bahamas. not overseas, but it's a different country. Yeah, 
Caribbean, Mexico. Nice. Nice. Yeah. But that was on a cruise, so that doesn't count. Oh, okay. But I mean, I, I still saw shit, just like tourist traps, basically. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. Um, I feel like if I did go on a cruise to Mexico, like I'm trying to get out and I'm trying to go see some shit. I'm trying to explore. You just want to see some booty. <laughs> I'm trying to find a Ooh, wife. Booty. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to come back to America with a wife. America. America. You want to come to America? Oh my God! I was watching this clip of R. <laughs> Kelly singing. Like, I don't. We don't watch clips of that dude <laughs> where I'm from, yo. But this must be some North Austin <laughs> shit that y'all doing. Nah, He's nah, from nah. Chicago. Sorry. Oh no, nah. that's, that's your people up there. Mm-hmm. But he was like singing. He was like, "Girl, have you got your passports? Have you got your shots? Come back to." America. <laughs> Why? Why? No, okay. <laughs> Who thought it was a good idea? Like, let's get R. Kelly to entice these people I, I to go get their fucking passports. No. <laughs> Anything that R. Kelly tells me to do, I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> and I ain't listening to his music no more. Uh, Fuck him. I don't believe I can fly. Have no you more. got your passports? Have you Baby. got your shots? <laughs> never. Never again. Sorry. Come back with me. Given giving Robert's a bad name. I man. know. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, he is a Robert. That's sorry. Terrible. I watch another podcast and they've been like playing clips of Robert that, Kelly. So. Well, that one live performance. Ugh. I know he's gross. He's done, man. Death penalty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just finish his ass off. Get him out of here, man. He's done. Wait, what did he say? I'm trying to live my life. I don't know. I fight for my motherfucking life. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's funny to me. Dude, have I, you seen I mean, the Saturday Saturday Night Live? Um, no. Nah. You should watch it. It's really nah. funny because it's with Keenan Thompson. I only watch The Office <laughs> and the Spurs. <laughs> and that's it. I wish we could film this. I shit know. Off the style. That'd be tight. Eventually, like if I can get some funds in, I would love to have multiple cameras. So Just let me get a genie. If I can get three wishes, one of them. I'm Hello, away. I am the motherfucking genie. <laughs> well then, genie. Goddamn, one of my wishes is to have my life filmed office style. I want to take it to work, so we can have our little side con- <laughs> side interviews and shit. We should though. Zoom in on my face during the the huddles, and you can see my reactions to the shit <laughs> to the shit that's going on around. I would love that. I need that. You'd be Stanley. I'm Stanley for sure. I'm a I'm a mix of. Who Stanley. would I be? You are. Angela, cause she's a bitch. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. I don't know who you. I know, right? Maybe, maybe you're Meredith. <laughs> the redhead, the alcoholic. <laughs> what? Hey, she she's a she's a nice woman. She has a, a nice little <laughs> minivan and shit. You know. She no, had, I would be. Uh, what's his face? Who is that? The old man Creed yeah I love Creed <laughs> he's funny as fuck he uh he really has dementia or some shit he, everything that he says does not make sense <laughs> and I love it maybe you would be Creed you'd I be, could be Creed you'd be girl cause he Creed. only shows up every now and then to do something random as fuck and yeah. just walk away yeah yep. he don't know anybody's name that, that he works with like he just <laughs> he's just there in the office stealing shit and going home I love it but then I, I'm also a lot well no I'm not I don't know I'm more spoken, outspoken than that. Or at least my facial expressions are more. Look, if looks could kill, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been dead 45 years ago, shit. Just off of asking questions. Mm. This, oh, God, whenever you stand up and you're like. <laughs> what? <laughs> when you always ask me a question at work. Oh, you're like. <laughs> what do you want? My back girls club. That's why you put that picture there to deter <laughs> me from asking questions. <laughs> Damn, that's cold. <laughs> but no, I feel you. I don't. Uh, I don't like getting involved in a lot of time either. I really just try to stay in my zone, just be jamming. Yeah, when you're not talking about March Madness. Hey, I'm trying to get my money, baby. I need my money. <laughs> All about the money. And you're third now. I'm tied for third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> How do you redeem your the cash? Is it cash? Yeah. Uh, Jesse has the money. Mm. In just, it, like in his dust drawer? In his work? butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna dispense it from there and I collect it, you know. Dollar bills. Ah. <laughs> With my hands. I'm gonna reach in there and grab I'm not oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Reach inside and grab it. You know, I'm not about to put my mouth over there, you crazy. Um but yeah, we get the money and uh, that's it. At the end of the month. And then you should just take us all out. 
Oh, no, you gotta no. now, you, now you're being selfish. Now you're being greedy. No, no, no. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I don't even like going out. Stay off my uh, porch. Oh, whatever. A grumpy old man. I just want my cash so I can go buy these diapers for these kids. They're shitting all over the house. I'm just trying to you know, do my thing, pay my bills. Mm. I'm a God fearing man. Well, we should probably wrap up. And my face hurts from laughing and smiling now. Oh my God, your face is getting red. Is it red? It's getting red. It's starting to show up on the camera. I hate you. It looks real bad. Shut up. <laughs> so where can we find you? Instagram.com slash Rob Allen 50. Five zero. And, uh, oh, that's invalid. <laughs> 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 hey, they might have taken my shit down for the stupid ass videos I post. But um, yeah, you can find me there. And if not, I'm in South Austin somewhere. Up to no good. Okay, but, uh, and you're on Spotify and yeah, Apple. yeah, for sure. Um, my music you can find it on Apple Music, Spotify, uh, Amazon, wherever the hell. Amazon. Yeah. Um, really. Title. Whatever you listen to your music on, uh, type in Robert Bridges. Um, I got a page on there. There's only one track on there, but uh, go listen to that shit. Hope you feel it. I hope you get something out of it. Um, and just be on the lookout for more to come. It's on the way. My brand is coming out this year. It's called Tunnel Vision. Um, just wait on that. Don't be asking. Tunnel Vision? Tunnel Vision. Um, just wait on that. More, and, uh, like, music? Something? Uh, it's more of everything, like a clothing brand. A really? Of, like, blogging and... Um, You're going to buy a domain? It's already been bought. Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, nah. It's not set up yet. <laughs> that gov. <laughs> when, the, when the time's right, um, after you know, I get the page set up and you know, get my products and shit. Um, it'll be out there. But uh, yeah, just wait on it. Nice. You. It's coming. It's coming. More positivity for me to put out in the world. I will definitely buy a shirt from you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody buy a shirt from me. You gotta feed these kids. Remember, <laughs> do it for the kids, not for me, for the kids. <laughs> Rob the third. Mm -hmm. Oh well, thank you so much for coming on. No problem. I think I got a headache from this, honestly. From this concoction that you made? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to, <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little <laughs> weird, guys. I don't know what you put in this. Um, you'd be all right. Shake it off. Okay. Shake it off. Give you some some water. Water. Drink, yeah, drink, drink, drink water. What are you up to tonight? Spurs. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Spurs tonight. They play the Rockets at seven. Oh so, yeah. shit! Texas versus Texas. Spurs gonna whoop that ass. Um, but yeah, that's what I do in my life. I watch the Spurs. Okay. I'm a boring man. Mm. I want to go out tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Oh, I got it's work. nice out. I'm an old man. I got work tomorrow. No, 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 <laughs> no. Feed the kids. Yeah, grumpy old man. Got to work tomorrow, so I'll be in the house <laughs> with my with my jammy jams on, watching the Spurs. Go Spurs. <laughs> Peace, mother <motherfuckers. laughs> Peace, chicken grease, all that shit. I love you. It's already faded out, so we can just do whatever now. You're <gasps> lying. You lying. This is going to show up in the, in the deleted scene footage. <laughs> lying to me. You can reach us at fatalpodcastatx at gmail.com or Instagram at fatalappeal.